Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to orient the wraps on the S4B stage, which is the second stage here on the Saturn 1B. Um, what we're going to do for orientation is to make sure that these wraps are aligned this way so that everything lines up. Now for that we're going to need a reference line and we're going to call that reference line the position one line and it's easy to make. You know, just draw a line down the tube using your angle and use a pencil for this because if you use an ink what it will happen is when you spray it with primer and then paint, the solvents in the paint are going to dissolve the ink and that ink is going to float up to the surface and it's going to mar your nice finish. So always use a pencil on that. So here's our position one line. And if you look on the, the color charts, which you can download from the Apogee website as a PDF, these are numbered as positions, and so it's kind of like one quarter turn around the rocket. So position one is right there, then there's position two, position three, and finally position four. And this will allow you to make sure that you've got everything in the right orientation. So we're going to start with the interstage wrap, and that's this long one right here. And you'll notice on this wrap, that it has a smaller section of stringers that are tiny and more compressed together. That will be on the aft end of the tube. So if this is the bottom of my tube, that is where this wrap will be oriented. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is to trim these wraps to size so that they just go around the tube properly. And this one right here, is a little bit long so I want to trim that okay so what I need to do is to cut just on this side of the stringer um, approximately the same distance that these two stringers are apart these two ribs right there and for that I'm going to use a straight edge and I'm going to start by drawing a line so that I, I know that my line is not crooked when I make the cut. So you always want to measure first before you cut. Okay, so I'm looking at that line, making sure it's nice and straight, and I do like it, so I will go ahead and cut it. This is very similar to what we did before. We're just going to score lightly, and then we're going to Wiggle it back and forth. Here we go. Okay. And then wrap it around the tube. And this time I want to measure to see how much I'm going to have to cut off the other end. And there's a little bit of overlap right here. So. I'm going to cut right there. And again, I'm going to draw a pencil line first. Make sure that it's nice and straight and not crooked or tilted. And it looks like it's tilted just a little bit. I'm just eyeballing it, but usually your eye is pretty good. Yes, that's better. So when I cut, notice that I put the knife edge right on the corner, and then I bump the ruler right up to it, and then rotate it around there, and it makes a nice little pivot. So that way I can be sure that nothing's going to move on me. Tube. And I got a little bit of a gap, but it's not bad. 
and then I'm just going to tape it down in place. We're not going to glue in this step, so we're, we're going to orient things around. So that was my position one line, so that's going to go right there. Okay, so our next wrap is this one here with these bumps on it. And this has an orientation. Um, and position one is actually right here. See all these bumps here right in the middle? Um, there's a flat area right there. And right in the middle of that is position one. So right there. And if you look at the front, it kind of has a little bevel on it. It's kind of like an arrow. And that arrow points to the front of the rocket. But this wrap is going to go, it's going to butt right up against the interstage wrap. And then I'm going to rotate it around. And that's my position one line right there. And again, I'm just going to wrap it around. And we're going to see how much we're going to need to trim off. So on this one right here, I'm going to trim just on the to the one side of this rib and then to the other side of that rib. Okay. Okay, that looks good. And then on this side right here. And that was good too. So now we'll go ahead and cut it. Now before I cut the other one, just, just double check, make sure we have I don't want to I don't want to have to stretch it too much. Okay, so I just need to be right on that, just on that side of that line. So I'm going to bring it to the line and then sh smidge it just a little bit that way. Okay, now I'm checking the wrap. Oh, look at that. It's going to be perfect right there. All right, let's get a piece of tape and tape it in place. And then rotate it around to its position one line right there. Just like that. Okay, and then this one right here is the front part of the second stage. And the flat area is going to align with the edge of the tube. Like this. Okay, so let's first trim it and then I'll show you where position one is on this line. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to trim on the outside of that rib right there. Let's do that one first. This one's a little harder to do because we got this little raised antenna right there. So you can't push too hard on your ruler or you'll smash that. Okay. I like that line. I'll go ahead and cut it. You can just take your ruler or your pencil and run a line along there. <laughs> That's not even close to being straight. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it this way. So I know I need to be right there. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. So I'm pretty good at the front, but I got a gap right here on the back. But that's okay because that little gap is going to be hidden by one of the tunnel covers, which was the other raised piece on that vacuform ramp. So that's going to cover that up. So I'm not worried about that at all. We tried to orient these uh, wraps so that they're hidden as much as possible, either by the paint pattern or by other items that go over the top of them. So this is actually okay. And now position one, if you look at it, we got these two raised antennas. Position one is right in the middle of those. So right on that stringer right there is position one. Okay, so we'll put this on the tube. We're going to tape it down for right now. and then rotate it around. So here's position one, and I gotta find my line right there. So it's going to be oriented right there on the tube. Okay. Um, now, in the next video, we're gonna start gluing these down, but before we do that, um, I would recommend painting this area of the rocket. So what you can do is draw a line around the perimeter on both of these wraps then remove the wraps paint the rocket just that area um, so we want to paint this area right here and when it's done it's going to look like this you can see i've painted it uh, just primer i just wanted to get it smooth so that um, that it's easier to paint this thing once all the wraps are on. So that's where you should be at the end of this step. Go ahead and, and primer that and make it nice and smooth, at least as much as that you want.